is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So today is the last video of 2019 so I wanted to do a full face using my 2019 favorites. I think last year I did one that was exclusively drugstore. This year I'm just gonna do you know without a category all-time favorites of 2019 and you've probably seen me use a lot of these products in a lot of videos. That is because I really like them and so yeah let's just get started. Okay, so first before I jump into like the routine, I wanted to mention that my favorite glue on nails, these guys, are the Kiss Nails. I have fallen in love with these because I don't have the time or the money to go to salons all the time and glue on nails have come a long way. So these are my favorite nails. And then the contacts I'm wearing are Viscon Signature. These are the cosmic gray ones. I will link everything down below, but these ones are so comfortable. I don't even feel them. Like out of all the contact lenses I've ever reviewed on my channel, these are the most comfortable ones. I feel like these, I see like the, the least peripheral color. I feel like a lot of the contact lenses I've tried for colored ones, I tend to see like a ring of the color and this one is not as obvious. So yes. So jumping into my face, if you've been on my channel a while, you will know that I don't actually prime my face. I generally like to do my makeup kind of right after my skincare routine, but I have been really loving this Roe Cosmetics. This is their Repair and Balance Cream. I like to use this during the day when I, um, like right before I do my makeup because it does a really good job of also priming. Like it dries a little bit tacky, so I don't like to use this at night only because like it's kind of expensive and I don't want to use it when I don't need the priming benefits but yes it dries kind of tacky it is amazing and lightweight so I like to use it sort of as a replacement primer so next for applying foundation to my face I like to use the shop miss a this is their Paw Paw blender this is a buck 55 this is the size when it's dry and this is the size when it's wet these things are so soft you need to try them ride or die so next for foundation, my favorite foundation is still this Maybelline Superstay foundation. Right now I think I'm in the shade 128, it might be a little dark for me, but this is the best full coverage foundation. Like it beats out high end in my opinion, I guess the ones that I've tried. My favorite high end one would be the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. That one is more on the medium coverage side and it is really nice when you have your beauty blender a little bit too damp it spreads really nicely to give you a lighter coverage versus this Maybelline one it is full coverage but it looks so good it is so smooth and it doesn't show any weird texture and doesn't like break out through the day so this is just a pretty light layer I could build this up if I wanted to but I wanted to show you the texture on my skin I just feel like it is so smooth and it doesn't look cakey at all even though it covered most of like my dark spots so for concealer under my eyes, my favorite formula is this Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And this is in the shade Porcelain, which is a little bit lighter than the Too Faced Born This Way foundation that I would be using, which is light beige. And I love this formula because it is so hydrating. It doesn't break you out though. It doesn't like dry funny. It doesn't cause any additional creases. In fact, I think it makes my creases a little bit better. And it is just so blendable and a little bit goes a really long way. Like I have been using this tube, I want to say for like a year. So next to set my face, I know I've talked a lot about Too Faced, but their complexion products are just so good. The setting powder that I like the most is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Powder. This powder, I want to say, is really nice for dusting all over my skin. I never bake really, I just like to dust a light layer and I don't feel like this gives me any flashback. It settles really nicely into my skin and doesn't make me look cakey at all. So moving on to brows, I have been absolutely in love with the Glossier Boy Brows. So this is what it looks like. It is quite a small tube and is very travel friendly. I resisted brow gels for so long because I was so afraid it was going to make my eyebrow hair is really waxy and even like crunchy but this formula is just so good you swipe on just a little bit and it just makes everything look so natural I do have to say this is really only good for people that have a lot of eyebrow hair to begin with and really like their shape if you're going to use this by itself my favorite brow product if I am going for a more dramatic look or more coverage or if you don't have a lot of brow hair is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow powder duo 
and I'm in the shade in ebony in that one and I love that formula because it stays all day a little bit goes a long way and it doesn't smear easily Next, moving on to eyeshadow, I'm going to share a like my favorite neutral palette and my favorite colorful palette just because I feel like depending on the event or your personality, you might be curious about one or the other. So my favorite neutral palette is this Tarte Cosmetics Man Eater palette. I would say Tarte Cosmetics has amazing neutral eyeshadow palettes and they're all very like travel friendly. So this Man Eater palette is pretty good. There's also like they have little six pan options as well and I feel like Tarte eyeshadow the formula itself is so pigmented but also blendable I feel like a lot of really pigmented eyeshadows don't blend out quite as nicely as the Tarte ones do and I have never had one break on me when I go traveling these are my favorite eyeshadows ever to bring traveling and I really like this formula so I'm just gonna go ahead and use some of these colors before moving on to my favorite colorful one so before moving on to my favorite bright eyeshadow palette, I want to cut my crease before I packing that color on. And my favorite concealer to cut my crease is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Concealer. This is in the shade 100. So why I love this concealer, yes, the formula is good, it is affordable, but my favorite feature is actually that it is like a little squeezy tube instead of like the wand in the regular tube because I feel like when you use the wand, you can transfer eyeshadow back into the tube, which is not what you want or you have to like put it on the back of your hand, like something to prevent it from transferring versus when this is in a tube, you can use the tip of the squeezy tube to sort of use as a palette and dip your brush onto and then just wipe it off with a paper towel. So that's why I love this for cutting my crease specifically. So then talking about my favorite colorful eyeshadow palette, this is the Colored Rain eyeshadow palette. This is their Vivid Pigments palette. If you buy this today, it's not loose pans in a palette. It is an actual palette and this is the best the best colorful eyeshadow palette it is all matte colors which colorful matte colors are a lot harder to formulate than colorful shimmers these are so pigmented so blendable and I just don't know what I would do without this palette honestly I have been using this for quite a while and the pan I haven't even hit pan yet because of how pigmented they are like I just don't need a lot to get the effect that I'm really looking for so I'm just gonna pack this into my crease that I just cut so I just used two colors but I also wanted to show you that there is no fallout whatsoever from either of these eyeshadow palettes that I've been using it is just so amazing that palettes can be so pigmented without fallout. Ah! So next, moving on to eyeliner. I actually have three eyeliners that I like to rotate between. One's a brush tip, the other two are felt tip. So the brush tip eyeliner I like, which is the one I'm going to be using today, is this Isehan. I can't quite pronounce it. I think it's Japanese. It is a brush liner, and that's what I'm going to be using today for my wing. The other two that are easier for you to get your hands on are the Stila Stay All Day Eyeliner and the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I feel like with all these eyeliners, they don't budge even though my eyes are super creased and hooded sometimes, depending on the day. And they also get really greasy, so I really like that they don't budge and they're not like a complete nightmare to remove, so it's like a happy medium between staying all day and not being a complete nightmare to remove. Okay, so at this point I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. So what I like to use is this Duo Eyelash Glue. I know it's drugstore, but I love it so much. And then the AOA Cosmetics Premium Lashes. If you've been seeing my videos, you know that these are basically the only things I use. These are also a buck fifty-five, same as the blender and they are so good. You can reuse them over and over again. They're so comfortable. I don't know why anybody would buy anything else to be honest and this one in particular is Tori which is my favorite one I think out of all of their styles but they're all good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and smoke out the bottom of my lash line with the Tarte palette that I was using. So colorful eyeliners I also wanted to mention. I have a number of these. These are the LA Girl Cosmetics lip liner and eyeliners. Some of them, some of the colors are categorized as eyeliners and some of them are categorized as lip liners. I personally use them both for my eyes, but please be careful if you are using the lip liner for your 
eyes as you can have an actual bad reaction. So if you're scared of that, please don't. So moving on to the rest of my face, let's start with bronzer and contour. For me, I love the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I use this both to contour and as a light bronzer sometimes if I'm feeling it. I have both the original and the sun-kissed versions of it and depending on what shade I am I like to use one or the other or mix them. But it just smells so good, it is so affordable, it blends beautifully, it sets beautifully on my skin. You really just can't beat this. Next for blush, I am going to be using the LA Girl Blush Babes. This is their blush palette. I really like this palette because it, like all the colors in here are very wearable and they can build to be very bright, but they can also be very subtle. The other blush that I like, I really like Becca Cosmetics Formula, but sometimes I just feel like it's too much and I, maybe I'm like not light handed enough, but sometimes that is very pigmented. So for highlight, you literally cannot beat the Wet n Wild highlighters. So this is the Mega Glow Highlighting Palette. I'm not sure if this thing is around anymore. They also sell them in singles, and I have a variety of these ones as singles. I like that the formula has a combination of shimmery and glowy, depending on which one you want. You can pick your own different color, and it just glides on beautifully. It stays all day, and you really can't beat this price point. So last to finish up my lips, today I'm going to be using the liquid lipstick from Atomic Makeup. This is in the shade Concrete Jungle, which is a beautiful nude color. This formula has a really good staying power with all the comfort in the world. I also like the Ofra Cosmetics liquid liner or liquid lipsticks. They don't stay quite as well, but they are equally comfortable. So I also want to mention that if you wanted to go the lip liner lipstick route. My favorite lip liners are these LA Girl Cosmetics. This is their Perfect Precision Lip Liners. I have these in a handful of colors. They are like a traditional pencil tip instead of an automatic tip, but I find that they stay really well. They don't sink into the cracks of your skin and they layer beautifully. Favorite lipstick formulas, I would have to say either the Flower Beauty, this is I think Drew Barrymore's brand, or the Lorac Cosmetics Lipsticks. They both are quite creamy and they stay well as well, especially the Lorac ones I feel like stay a little bit better than the flower ones, but the flower ones are really comfortable if you get the cream formula. Like I said, I generally layer these on top of the LA Girl Cosmetics lip liners when I'm feeling more of a lipstick mood. You just have to make sure that you bring them with you if you are eating because they won't last as long as the liquid ones will. So that fully concludes my video on my 2019 favorites. I'm sure this video is ridiculously long, so I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and just being an overall viewer and supporter. You guys mean the world to me, and I hope to make next year even better. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a happy new year. Bye!